time of year, it's all about league play and trying to win games to get to Atlanta, basically to win the MEAC crown, but just talk about taking it one game at a time. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can do. And you can't look too far ahead. And, you know, that's, that's what we talk about here is just take one game at a time. And, you know, the team meeting yesterday, uh, you know, I was preaching to the guys again about, you know, although it's this late in the season, we can still get better. You can still improve. And, and don't just get caught up in going to practice and, um, you know, just, just surviving practice. So let's work to improve on the mistakes. And um, we've got to get better this week. I, I say it every week, but I, I, I truly mean it. Uh, this is a very good football team coming in here. And, um, you know, we don't talk about the celebration ball and all that stuff. We know we just have to win this football game. And um, Coach Scott and his staff have done an outstanding job. And uh, we've got to come to play this week. Coach, calling all Eagles. Uh, you said it will be a packed house. Uh, you talk about Howard coming in. It's got all the things, the, all the elements to make for a great, great game. Uh, just talk a little bit about doing what you guys have to do to be successful on Saturday. Well, like you said, first, I'm calling all Eagles. We got to get here, get to the stadium early. Uh, the tailgating is going to be out there. We can, we can tailgate all night long. But I need them in the, the Eagles in the stadium early. And we need to go in and pack the nest and, and show them some of that good old uh, Durham love down here. But uh, – you know, I, I'd much rather play in somebody else's homecoming because, you know, so many distractions, so much stuff going on, and you hope some of those other teams get distracted. So we that's going to be, a, you know, a big task for our guys to stay locked in this week with all the events around campus and all the folks coming back. But uh, um, I'm excited about it, and, and I know our fans uh, are excited as well, and it should be a great turnout. Coach, in closing, just talk about the log jam and, and the parity and how competitive these teams are. And people still have an opportunity, and it's very crucial uh, every Saturday. It is. And, and we talk about parity, and we talk about how good these teams are. And I think sometimes you all just think that as coaches talk when we come up here and praise another team. But, I mean, I really mean it. Like I said, it's not, there's very little difference between the top team and the bottom team. You look at, uh, you know, South Carolina State and Morgan State. Um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's parity. And these guys, this is a physical league. And I don't know, you know, people don't give us enough credit, but this is a, a very physical football league. And, um, you know, guys getting knocked out the ball, getting knocked out, and, you know, guys getting injured. So um, we just have to, again, work to get better this week and, and just stay in the now and don't worry about um, the standings and all that other stuff. Because I, I do know this, if you lose a game, you're out of it. So uh, we have to stay locked in and work to figure out a way to, to get a game plan and to execute this weekend. Thank you, sir. Have a great week and good luck Saturday. Hey, James, thank you, man. You did an outstanding job, man. We tried. <laughs> <laughs>